Hello and thank you for joining us on TVC News this hour. And we're staying with the tragic incident that happened in Mina, Niger State, where at least 50, 30 persons have died after a tanker explosion at a gay local government area. The incident occurred around 12.30 a.m. along the Lapai Agay Road, two kilometers from Dendo community. The petrol tanker was said to have been involved in a head-on collision with a trail truck loaded with travelers and cattle from Kano State. Over 50 cattle were burnt alive in the explosion. While well, the Niger State Emergency Management Agency is conducting search and rescue operations, as small bodies remain trapped in the wreckage. Well, let's turn our attention to Akwaibom State, where the two brigade Nigerian army has announced plans to commence demolition of unserviceable ammunition and explosives at the 6th Battalion Range area of Abak local government area. The acting assistant director, Army Public Relations uh, Lieutenant Abdewa Adebowale Adejimi, who disclosed this in a press release in Uyo on Saturday, said the exercise will take place from Tuesday to Thursday. He urged people of Abak to stay off the designated area within the period, and even as he encouraged them not to panic at the sound of the explosives. Lieutenant Adejimi assured that adequate security measures have been put in place to protect lives and property in the area. Or stay in Akwaibom State, where the State Ministry of Health has confirmed six cases of monkeypox. The State Disease Surveillance and Notification Officer Samuel Etuk said currently there are three cases in Ona local government area, two in Uyo local government area, and one in Isit Ibiom local government area. Mr. Etuk notes stated that uh, contact tracing for any transmission was conducted while the affected persons had been placed in isolation. He disclosed that 10 community informants had been engaged per ward in the state to work in catchment areas to report to the health facility focal person, who in turn will forward the same to the local government disease surveillance and notification officers for an onward report to the state Ministry of Health. Well, let's get more insights on this as I'm being joined by the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Augustine Umor, for more on this developing story. Good to have you on the news at this time. So, yes, we understand six cases of MPOX have been confirmed in Aquipum State. What is the ministry doing to address the situation? Yeah, good afternoon, good evening. Um, I, uh, that is true. So we've um, recorded six cases, but I must also emphasize that, that those six cases have been since the beginning of the year. We had some of it in early part of the year. But recently, what we've really had have been three cases, uh, we starting from last month, um, all of them in the same local government area. And uh, the ministry has taken steps as the BSNO who is also from the ministry would have informed, would have already informed you. The ministry has taken steps to ensure that those cases have been um, at least isolated and education provided. Because indeed, of those three, uh, one is the daughter of the first index case in that local government area. Uh, so we've taken steps to identify these cases, isolate the cases, provide education, uh, beyond that, the ministry has taken steps of revitalizing its uh, emergency response center uh, to be able to get responses from members of the public as to the presence of these uh, cases, which is how we were able to identify some of these ones that have shown up. We've also taken steps to educate the public on the um, on this case, which happens to be amongst us here. And um, we, we've um, asked that uh, people do not panic. But really, this is a time that a lot of the things we learned during the COVID era would also still come in very useful. So we've taken steps to educate the people, isolate the ones we've had. And it is our hope that sooner or later we'll have at least some vaccine to be able to give to some vulnerable people. 
And talking mm -hmm. about vaccines, we understand the federal government recently received about 10,000 doses from the United States Agency for International Development, that is you said. What's the level of distribution of these vaccines and has it already been administered in Aquipum State? No, it has not yet been administered in Aquibom State. And in terms of the distribution, I cannot really speak uh, for the Federal Ministry of Health. My only worry looking at it is the fact that uh, we require a lot, lot, lot more than that. I think about 750,000 doses were requested at the first instance. And therefore, 10,000 doses is going to be just a little drop. But it's better to start somewhere that have nothing at all. So we are happy we got that little bit. We'll really be looking forward to having more. We have not had any in a quite state yet, but we are looking forward to it. And talking about uh, this uh, disease now, we understand no, so far no deaths uh, has been recorded and you have done your best in terms of sensitization and awareness on the part of the public. But talk to us on other precautionary measures that can be adopted to slow further spread of this disease. The disease, as we know, is um, one that is uh, gotten by contact, contact by the with the infected and infected animal, or interpersonal contact with infected persons. Uh, so that is why I said earlier on that a lot of those things that we learned during the COVID era would also come in very useful here. We do advise uh, uh, people to uh, prove, stay away from people that have a vet disease. And also where there are contacts with animals to ensure that hand washing is very important, comes in very useful here. Hand washing as much um, as possible. We've also asked that you report any uh, uh, suspected cases. And also asked that people keep away from animals on due contact that's not necessary at this, at this um, uh, point in time. Other than that, report of any issue to the ministry will also help. So keep away from uh, contact with persons who may show symptoms. Keep away from animals who may have similar symptoms. Try and keep uh, it a personal, I mean, a, uh, important at this And we will take over from that. All right, and that's where we have to leave it for now. Thank you so much, Professor Augustine Umar, Commissioner for Health at Kwaibom State. We appreciate your time on the news at this time. Thank you very much. While still talking health, a senior research associate of the Cambridge University, Dr. Sarah Penser, says early diagnosis will go along.